All right, guys, welcome back to another video, Shaman J. So the Razer phone event was tonight, and you know, <laughs> it's it's kind of sad that you know there wasn't much hype behind this. Uh, so you know, I wanted to give Razer some you know some attention because some of you guys, I know my Project Thirteen, uh, I know he's uh, a person that's gonna probably pick up this phone. Uh, you know, so the Razer Phone Two uh, has some updates over the previous model. First, let's start with the price. It costs seven ninety nine. So you 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 know take a listen to that for a second. You tell me what you think about it. Um, the price point is it aggressively priced or you know what? So uh, the uh, phone itself, man. It, when you compare it next to the older model, it's a hundred dollars more coming out the gate. It still has the uh, 120 hertz refresh rate, uh, ultra motion uh, display. The other version of the phone, the Razer Phone One, had Gorilla Glass Three. And, and this one has Gorilla Glass 5. Not that that really matters. So they're claiming that um, you get uh, the same dual front fire and stereo speakers. So that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, you get dual amplifier still. They didn't tweak too much stuff. It's got a Snapdragon 845 opposed to the 835, which the 835 is still a great phone. Still got, got 8 gigs of RAM, uh, and they're claiming DDR4X. Uh, you know, you know how they put the little things on there. But um, it now comes in a 128 gig model. Uh, in a satin black. Uh, so there's a 64 mirror black and then there's a satin black uh, that's a 128 gig model. So you have pretty much the same camera setup on the back. You've just got the 12 megapixel, uh, um, a wide tw angle 12 megapixel camera on the back with OIS. Uh, and then you've got another 12 megapixel with a telephoto lens. On the other one, you had a, thir a 12 and a 13. Uh, so, you know, same thing. And this one can record up to 4K. Uh, the front camera is still an 8 megapixel f2.0. You know, they probably said that, you know, it's got a, it's a few improvements or whatever. But uh, now it says instead of heat pipe cooling, it's viper chamber cooling. That, all that stuff, man, that's just hype train stuff. Um, to me, it is. I mean, you gamers out there, I don't game, you know what I'm saying? But um, if I did, you know, maybe that would be really important to me and I would have a better understanding of it. Uh, but I don't. So to me, it's hype train stuff. 4,000 milliamp hour battery inside steel, Qualcomm uh, 4.0 quick charge. And this time it has wireless charging. Uh, and you know, it's got one gigabit internet. Now it had CAT 16, now it has CAT 18, which is just 1.2 gigabits. The other one was one gigabit, you know. Uh, so it's got IP68 or IP67 water resistant now up to one meter. And yada yada, it's the same old thing. It's pretty much the same body size almost. It's just a little bit. It's 8.5 millimeters instead of 8. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's 78.99 instead of 77.4 for the width. So the phone itself, though, pretty much looks the same. They just moved the cameras, in my opinion. They moved the cameras on the rear. And, you know, they gave it a little bit of a higher price tag uh, of $100. Uh, but if you if you are, are into this, man, you, you might think that this is a great thing and it's a good purchase thing. Because you know, I believe there's a phone for everybody. Uh, and, you know, the Razer Phone 2... I know several people have been excited about it, and the satin black one, the 128 gig, is $100 more. So it's $899 for the for the 128 gig model, and then um, it's uh, $799 for the 64. So is the price aggressively priced? I really can't say that it is because you got phones like the OnePlus, and you got the Vivo Next. I'm, I'm talking worldwide. You know, I'm just talking about phones in the U.S. But the OnePlus man is definitely offering. You can get an 8 gig, and I know the OnePlus isn't a gaming device, so to speak, with all the cooling and all that other stuff. But the OnePlus is like $300 less than this, or you know, it's or 200 to 300 less. So, and you get a Snapdragon 845. You know, you get the same thing. So, you got 8 gigs of RAM, and you get the stock Android, and it's actually built better. You know, what I'm saying it's not boxy and square. Uh, but you know, <clears throat> there are some things this phone will will offer and you know gamers will be excited about it and then there'll be some things that you know the one plus will definitely offer and this phone won't stand a chance and i think the razor phone um and i'm talking about the one plus six uh, not the one plus 6t because that's not out yet uh but the, because the one plus uh six is obviously still relevant you know what i'm saying it's 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 still it's got a snapdragon 845 you know what i'm saying so um, when you put those side by side, the Razer doesn't look as appealing. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't look 
like it's bringing something like really major to the table you know however i wasn't too impressed with the rate the first razor phone because i felt like i was buying the little um phone that they bought the company they bought i forgot the name of it you can tell me in the comments uh but it's just too much like that the boxy that's uncomfortable to hold after a while but I never bought the Razer phone for that reason. I was like, this isn't, I'm not paying $700 for the same phone that I just bought for $145. So, you know, that's just my take on it. You tell me how you feel about it. The Razer phone 2 is probably going to sell like the first Razer phone <laughs> because the first Razer phone was just on sale for $165 at Best Buy and they sold out quick. I wanted to get that phone for $165 because, yeah, it may not be the best phone. But those internals, you know what I'm saying? Those specs, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's that that would be. Um, check my camera real quick. That that's a that that's a hot. Uh, 165 dollars for a, a, a powerhouse internal phone like that. I can deal with some boxiness, but not at the expense of 700 bucks. And, and this one's this new one is going to be 800 and 900, and it's competing in the price range. It's competing with phones like the Pixel. You know, it, up there, it's, it's up there in that price range. So would you get the Pixel 3 XL over this? Or would you take this over the Pixel 3 XL? Or the Pixel 3? You know, it's $7.99 for that, you know what I'm saying? So you do the math on how you feel like, the, do the specs match up to what they're offering? But like I was saying before, you know, the OnePlus 6 has always appealed to me. Uh, I just never bought it. So, you know, I, I bought it and then I canceled the order, you know what I'm saying? But we'll see how that turns out here in the future. Because you know, now that I see what the OnePlus 6T is going to look like, um, the OnePlus 6 is looking even better. So, you know, because they're taking away the headphone jack and things like that, you know. But the Razer phone, you know, all these companies are taking away things from the phone and they're raising the price. So I think companies want us to be completely wireless. But some people don't want to be completely wireless. But the Razer Phone 2, uh, it's an intriguing phone. You know, it's competing with the likes of the Note. You know what I'm saying? It's competing with phones like this. This phone is $9.99, and the Razer Phone 2 is uh, $7.99 and $8. Well, if you match the one, the memory option, the Razer Phone 2 has two more gigs of RAM for, for $8.99 and 128 gigs. And this is uh, $9.99 with 6 gigs and 128 gigs of RAM. Uh, so, but this is a much sexier phone, and it's definitely probably way more appealing. It's got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery too. It's got a headphone jack. You know what I'm saying? So, and you got the full S. There's just it's just too many things to lay out on the table. But I will say that I feel like the Razer phone is probably gonna sell like the first one did. It appealed to a niche crowd. Like there's a there's a certain amount of people that wanted that. There's certain people that wanted it. Now, when they got on stage and was talking tonight, they was talking like it was just the best thing and it just sold a million copies, a quadrillion copies. And I was just like, I don't know very many people that had it at all. That doesn't mean it didn't sell. That just means that I only know my Project 13. And Tony Pazzo only bought it probably because it was 165 You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I wish I could have grabbed that deal. I'm hating a little bit. Because uh, I would if I could have got it for 165 I would have jumped on it. But I wouldn't, I would keep it as like a, something to benchmark and compare to and see how I like it later on, you know? But not for 800, not for 700. I'm just not ready to pay for that type of hardware, you know, for that type of price. So, I mean, the phone is here now. So, would you give up your Note 8 or Note 9 or your OnePlus 6 or any of those phones, the Pixel 3, the Pixel 3? Would you pick any of those phones uh, over the Razer phone because the Razer phone has, is a gaming, you know, has this 120 hertz motion on the screen? Would you pick, you know, that phone? Because in the end, all these phones can do gaming. You know, I've got, what, the Fortnite game on here. I don't play it, but, you know, all these phones with the Snapdragon 8, this has liquid cooling. You know what I'm saying? So, um, all these phones can can do gaming, technically. They're just labeling theirs as a gaming phone. You know what I'm saying? This has stereo speakers. You know what I'm saying? I have plenty of phones with stereo speakers. So, you weigh it out. Would you give up your phone that you currently have for the Razer phone? Or would you say, hey, I'll trade it in and get the Razer phone? I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I don't think that I will. You know what I'm saying? But... You do the math. Um, there's plenty of phones out there that I have that I just wouldn't trade it for the Razer phone. Not no shade on the Razer phone owners. You know what I'm saying? That's not. Uh, I'm just covering it because, well, this is smartphone conversations, and we have conversations about smartphones. And the Razer phone for me is still a no-go. Uh, not not for nine hundred dollars. Not for eight hundred dollars. Just not there yet for me. The design is horrible, if you will. It's just too squared off. It's a big bulky phone. Uh, but 
some people are going to love it. You know what I'm saying? So you tell me what you think about it in the comments. Did you watch the keynote event on it? You know what I'm saying? They streamed it on Twitch. So did you watch it? What you think about it? Let me know in the comments. It's your man Jay, and I'll see you in the next one. It's time to fade out. Mm.